Hey, what's up guys? Same goal here and today we're gonna create this effect. So today we're gonna create this effect where we have some lightning in our eye. And this effect is basically from the flash. I mean, who doesn't know that? So let's get started. We're gonna take a footage and drop it onto this icon to create a new composition. And what we basically need to do is track our eye so that we can add effects over it. So I want the lightning to start from two seconds. So I'm just gonna right click and hit track motion and we get a tracking point. So what we're gonna do is just increase the tracking area and just select a tracking point anywhere near the eye and then we'll hit analyze forward. All right, so while you're tracking your footage, you should make sure that you have the comp resolution set to full so that the tracking is accurate and perfect. So now what we're gonna do is create a new null object, hit enter and rename it as tracker and then we'll come to this tracker window hit edit target and make sure that the tracker is selected and hit ok hit apply make sure it's x and y I don't know why this is rhyming I'm sorry ignore and then hit ok so now our tracker has all the tracking data so now we'll start making the lightning which will be there in our eye so we're gonna create a new solid and name it as lightning hope i spelled it correctly yes okay so what we're gonna do is go to effect generate advanced lightning so in order to achieve that look we might do some changes in the settings of advanced lightning so the first thing we're gonna do is set the lightning type to two-way strike so that we have the lightning striking from two directions and then what we'll do is go to the core settings and maybe increase the core opacity and then go to the close settings and change the color to orangish yellow like that and decrease the radius and decrease the opacity like that and then decrease the turbulence to maybe 0.5 so that the lightning is not too noisy and shaky and we're gonna increase the forking to 100% it looks horrible right now we're gonna fix it and to fix this we're gonna check decay main core and we're gonna increase the decay and we're starting to get that look then we go to the export settings and decrease the complexity to 5 and decrease the minimum fork distance and then we'll increase the core drain so we almost have that look and now we just need to place a lightning on our eye so we'll just move it like that and like this maybe just play with the core drain a bit and the last step will be to animate the lightning so we'll just alt click on the stopwatch for conductivity state alt click and type wiggle open parenthesis 5 comma 20 and then close parentheses so then we can see some movement in the lightning all right so what we'll do is parent the lightning layer to the tracker so that it sticks on our eye and then what we'll do is duplicate the lightning layer and change its position like that And just to randomize the second lightning, what we'll do is hit U twice. And in here, we'll type something like plus 25. So that it's a bit different from the first lightning. And then we'll duplicate it again. And change the position. duplicate once more and change this value too so we'll just randomize it a bit so that all the lightning layers are different from one another alright so what we'll do now is select all these lightning layers so we'll select the first one and hit shift and click on the last one and then hit control shift C to pre-compose them 
and we'll name it as maybe light hit ok and for now we'll just turn off the eye switch for the light layer and we'll go to layer new solid and rename it as matte and we'll turn off the eye switch for this one too and then take the pen tool and what we'll do is create a mask around the eye so just a rough mask will do Alright, and then we'll hit F and set the mask feather to maybe 5 and then we'll turn on the eye switch for the light layer and then hit F4 if you don't see these options and we'll set the track matte to alpha matte so the lighting doesn't spill out of the eye. So we'll select the matte and just disable the mask visibility for now. Hit MM and maybe just play with the expansion so we'll just decrease it a bit like minus 2 and increase the feathering a bit like that maybe adjust the mask a bit okay we we'll maybe just increase the core drain to 100 percent for all the lightning layers so we'll just increase it to 100 percent so that we have less forking and what we'll do is take this footage go to edit copy and come to this light layer and hit edit paste and we'll just bring it all the way down and then we'll go to layer guide layer so that this layer is just for reference in this composition and it won't render in this comp so that will help us align the lightning layers and also make sure to parent both these layers to the tracker let's just play with the lightning a bit more maybe just change their position like that just don't spread them too much Alright, that looks good for now. What else we might need to do is trim these layers. So we'll select both these layers and hit Alt Begin Bracket and then hit T and then set a keyframe for opacity and move it forward and then set the opacity to zero so that we see them fade in like that. Now what we'll do is color correct the light layer. So we'll just go to Effect, Color Correction and Tint. So that is black and white and then go to effect video copilot color vibrance now this is a third party plugin from video copilot which is absolutely free so you can download the plugin the link is there in the description and you can also download this from their website so what we're gonna do is change the color to maybe like orange something and then we'll increase the brightness a bit and maybe play with the gamma and then turn the matte alpha on and increase the alpha boost and maybe just increase the brightness a bit more and then what we'll do is go to effect stylize glow and then we'll add a glow so we'll just play with these settings increase the threshold increase radius like that and maybe just add another tint on this effect so we'll just go to effect color correction and tint and decrease the amount of tint like that and what else you can do is color correct your footage so we're just gonna create a new adjustment layer and rename it CC color correction and what you can do is download this preset from the description that I made for myself to save some time so we're just gonna drag and drop onto this adjustment layer we have some color correction and we're gonna need to adjust it a bit so I'll just remove this curves and maybe increase the mass and lightness to 8 and then increase the contrast to 60 and then go to effect color correction curves and do the color correction from scratch so I'll just make a contrast curve like that 
blue, green, another contrast curve, and go to blue, decrease it from this side and increase it from the left side, and we place it above hue and saturation. And also, I'll just go to the RGB channel and brighten up the image a bit. Just like that. Let's see. Alright, this looks okay. Now what else I did in the original example is I duplicated this matte layer. You can just rename it as light and turn the eye switch on and then go to layer solid settings and change the color to orange or yellow and then set the transfer mode to add and then hit T for opacity and we'll just decrease the opacity to maybe like 25 or maybe 15 and then we'll hit F and increase the feathering to maybe like 35 and then we'll place this layer below the light. So if you still find the lightning too fast, what you can do is right click and go to time, time stretch, and set the stretch factor to 150. So that slows down the speed. Right now what we can see is that the lightning is too sharp. So to fix that, we'll just go to the light layer and change the opacity to around 50 in all the lightning layers. So we're just gonna change it to 50, like that. And then what else we can do is decrease the scale of the lightning layer just like that and then reposition it like that and now let's see what we finally have all right that's it i hope you all like this effect i know that this effect can be improved with a few tweaks and as i always say it's all about playing with the values to get the effect and the look that you want. So that's it. Thanks for watching and goodbye. Bam.